The international ENSA DOE shock and vibration cask test collected data during cask handling and multimodal testing, heavy haul truck, ship, and rail transport. The test involved the partnership of two DOE national laboratories, an FRA R&D facility, and representatives from three countries. The objective of the test was to validate the hypothesis that spent fuel will maintain integrity during normal conditions of transport. The ENSA cask was loaded with three surrogate pressurized water reactor assemblies and 29 dummy assemblies. 37 strain gauges and 40 accelerometers were installed to monitor the surrogate assemblies, basket, cradle, cask, and conveyance. The instrumentation was connected to an 80-channel data acquisition system which included a GPS and was powered by 20 large batteries. The system was designed to last up to 17 days between battery charges. The spent fuel cask handling test represents the actual cask handling expected during dry cask storage movement. The lifting included three separate 30 centimeter vertical lifts with three different crane operators, as well as a lift of 15 feet to place the cask horizontally onto the cradle. Although most of the transportation in the U.S. is expected to be by rail, a heavy haul truck may be used to transport a cask to an intermodal transfer facility for transferring to rail car. The heavy haul truck test utilized a 16-axle truck. Data acquired during the shipment gave perspective on shock and vibration loads to be expected during ocean travel. The ocean transport began in Santander, Spain with multiple stops, the transfer to a ship in Zeebrugge, Belgium, and preparation for the transatlantic shipment to Baltimore, Maryland. The INSA cask was moved from the ship in the port of Baltimore and transferred by crane to a Cascro 12-axle rail car for the trip to Pueblo, Colorado. The transport by rail from Baltimore to Pueblo, Colorado used a dedicated locomotive, resulting in a five-day transit time. The return trip from Pueblo to Baltimore utilized general freight, which resulted in a 45-day transit time.
After arrival in Pueblo, Colorado, the rail car was transferred to Transportation Technology Center, Inc., TTCI, an R&D facility for rail car testing. Testing was done to characterize and quantify the shock and vibration environment that the cask-carrying rail cars are likely to be subject to during normal railroad operations.